Oh, Bored, Cord, and Barst, my strong sons. Those are great names. <laughs> that one version of him. Jeez. <laughs> this rocket launcher does so much. Those poor animals had to witness Sonic be murdered. Hey, hey, hey. She really do that? Ooh, she got hers. And now she can do the same to me. Yep. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch. This is part 10 of World of Light, the single player adventure and story mode. And if you're just joining us, you might want to check out the playlist down in the description. We've unlocked about half of this big map, and we did beat a boss last time, kind of had a rough run through this dungeon, but we did unlock Snake. We beat some of the spirits in there that were tougher than the boss itself, but we're gonna try to keep moving here and unlock those switches. It seems like we're getting a, not the one we're playing on. There's switches on the world map we gotta unlock to get up into the mountains there near where we got the ice climbers. But I did wanna see what this is over here. It seems like another dungeon, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna be missing anything that seems important. So I'm gonna try my hand at uh, unlocking this little area. Samus is making our gravity really high because she has a gravity suit, so she doesn't need, you know, to worry about that stuff. But if we can just slosh her off the side, there we go. All right. And that has lava floor resistance. That might be kind of helpful still. I think we already have a red Pikmin that does that. We don't have immunity, we just have resistance to a couple things like poison and lava. So it'd be good to get some immunity. Ooh, Char- okay, so never mind. This is a master. Charlie is here. Alf, of course, dressed as him in green. Reinforcements appear. Stages platforms are slippery. And they start the battle with a drill. Okay. Let's try this out. Probably should have done this back when we unlocked Olimar, but I didn't realize what it was going to be. I thought it would be a whole separate area. But it is Charlie who will teach us different styles for our our uh, fighters. I almost said our Mies. I was thinking about how we have... Ooh, yeah, it is slippery in here. It feels like I'm playing as Luigi. It is a, uh, a thing where we haven't used some of the characters that much, like Snake. We just got him, but I also have the Mii Fighter, the Mii Sword Fighter, that I have not played much in this or any other mode. I barely touched Mies in Smash 4. See ya, Brittany. She gave us so much trouble before. Oh, she's not gone quite yet. I like that, yeah, they had all the captains together here in this battle. I was gonna try to... Th I, <laughs> one of the Pikmin got hit. I was gonna really try to time that where I threw her backwards into the, uh, the drill handle that was thrown. That's my inner Duck Hunt player coming out trying to throw people into stuff. Okay. Let's see if we got... A uh, cool style here. We did do the tank style. I think it was like the brick wall style from Rover and uh, Book or, uh, Booker and Copper, the Animal Crossing dogs. All right, we can explore the caves. I don't know what that. Oh, this might be just another expedition thing. He's a master of sending people out. The name's Captain Charlie. Are you here for the research mission? So this is very similar to Toadette, it looks like. All right, I'll send a little owl into the caves, like a canary in the cold mine. Let's see, we got a, uh, yeah, this is a weird crew, but they always are. The uh, Space Pirate, Digby, all these guys. All right, let's head out. There they go, hopping along. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. All right, so uh, we have some choices here. I think I might try to go the Sam, or the, uh, the, we just fought Samus, but the Sheik path over here towards the city will hopefully get to that switch that we're trying to make it to, so let's fight Sheik. That was another thing we got by beating that boss, we weakened Galeem's shield and it got rid of the barriers in front of the path here. So now we can take on some of the other characters, go the other ways that we weren't able to. Like we originally could have gone some of these ways back when we started out. Let's grab a grab spirit and try this out. Snake is uh, definitely a nuanced character. He's heavy so you can kind of take a beating with him, but you got to Got to be good with his grenades, and speaking of grenades, Sheik has some as well. Is she, she's bigger than usual, right? <laughs> she's usually not that big compared to Snake, or maybe she is. He just has a weird... His head looks weird to me because he's so realistic. Like, his head is kind of like a normal size, but then you got somebody like Olimar or Yoshi who just has a ginormous melon noggin, and it just has kind of a strange vibe to it, but I'm happy to have Snake back, even if he looks 
like a stranger in a strange land here. Okay, we got Sheik as well. She was meant to be fought towards the beginning. Might as well get the villager while we're at it, since we could just go this way later as well, but I think I want to see where her path leads. I'm pretty sure his leads over to Isabel, and we could, did unlock her before Ready? by getting Captain to help us out. All right. I noticed if you try to throw a hack out sometimes right at the beginning, like, or try to go through a platform, it will uh, not let you do it. I think there's the, the buffer can be a little weird with that sort of thing. The Nikita is so good in this where you can just, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, it almost functions like PK Thunder with Ness and Lucas where you can use it to edge guard and really control it well. But it just blasted that sleeping little mare off into the dead zone. But he's on our side now. We saved him. All right. So let me just check who this leads to. Oh, Tron Bon. I love seeing Mega Man Legend spirits in here. It's still a little strange. But it's cool that they included them. All right, Metal Sonic. It's a stamina battle. They're metal, and they'll have a rocket belt. So let me just boost Snake a little bit here with some stamina and get Metal Killer in to make it a little easier. Got some <laughs> some butt rock going with Sonic. Let me see what song this is. They put a lot of the vocal songs in here from Sonic, which is cool. You think? Yeah, it's the Sonic Heroes theme. Okay. I don't know if, did Metal Sonic have a big role in that? I never played Sonic Heroes. I was gonna say, is this the song that I, people associate with him the most? I think of Sonic uh, CD with Metal Sonic the most, or even Sonic 2 when there was like that that one version of him. Jeez, <laughs> this rocket launcher does so much. Those poor animals had to witness Sonic be murdered, but at least it, when he was the villain Sonic, he's probably got an animal inside of him. Okay, I love, that was one of my favorite parts of Sonic was that, yeah, it was, he seemed very noble just rescuing these tiny animals trapped in robots. I thought it was just a very noble, heroic thing to do. Dr. Kragor from WarioWare is here. Ooh, okay. Let's take on Rabbit Mario, because I think this way will be good. There's a bridge that is out, and we've got Reese and Cyrus to help us with that. Defense seems good. I don't think this is a stamina battle. They're just going to start with a ray gun. Okay. So maybe we want some immunity to different weapons and yeah that's that's melee weapon resistance i thought we had one that was good for we could just do a uh, auto pick to to make it a little easier shooting the items up hmm or we'll just <laughs> speaking of recent cyrus let's just give snake a giant ore club from kid icarus and just smack on this little rabbit honestly when they revealed all the you know the new characters it still remains to be seen if we're gonna get dlc Rabbids, but I was just very surprised to not see a rabbit in the lineup of the uh, the newcomers. Let's see if we can just. Ooh, nope. Didn't mean to go off the side there. I was gonna try to do a back throw and just take him off the, the edge. <laughs> Come here, buddy. He's just going everywhere. I don't think the rabbits are this fast. There we go. <laughs> I knew Snake's back throw kind of had a good suplex that would launch him into the blast zone there. Got a good jump boost. All right. Sometimes I feel like having your... It's easier to have your jump dampened than to have it boosted and have it throw off your moves. Some, but maybe that's just me. Everybody can adapt differently. Shinobu from Mi, the Mi Plaza Street Pass games. All right. They're distracted by items. A ninja would use a lot of items. You'd think they wouldn't care too much about other people's items unless they wanted them, but... Let's go giant. Big old snake and anaconda here, <laughs> ready <laughs> to take down this little cute ninja. I like her, she's got one of those like festival Matsuri sort of masks on the side there. Oh, I was gonna say, all right, <laughs> giant is really good for one thing, but I was gonna say, oh, there's a me dressed as a ninja as well, so not just Sheik is in the midst. We have a couple ninjas in this game. Sheik is kind of like a more Arabian themed ninja, and then we have the uh, Greninja, of course, who's kind of similar in some ways. What do we got? A bridge to a new fighter and a Wallywog. I want to see where that switch is, though. I just want to make sure we're headed in the right direction. I can check the map for that. Yeah, it's over here, but it's behind the city gates. How do we unlock those? I might have to go a different way to get that, it looks like. But it's still worth going over here to get a new fighter and some. Nice rewards. Okay. Timed battle. They love to jump and use their balloons, of course. 
This feels like one of the more obvious spirit battles is just having, you know, the uh, the balloon fighter take the or the uh, the villager or Isabel even take the place of balloon fighter because balloon fighter. I know Sakurai, the lead developer of Smash, wanted Balloon Fighter as a full character, but it feels like that is going to be a very slim chance now that the Villager and Isabelle use that for their up B. So we'll see, but it seems like we're not going to get them in the future here. Snake is just... I could see him being one of the most annoying characters to fight against for some people because of all of his shenanigans where you get, you know, throw that, you can throw a grenade, you can just cover so many options, and then spike them with your big old stealthy boot. Hey, buddy. I don't want to hit that. I play Balloon Fight. I know how those electrical <laughs> sparks just careen over and mess you up. Having a bit extra jump might be good, honestly. I just said it could throw me off, but maybe it would outweigh... Like, if I use that with the Rhythm Heaven character that I've got the the chorus kids that could balance it out so I've gotten used to them just not having as good of a jump when I use them but they're strong oh bored cord and barst my strong sons those are great names <laughs> I never played the fire emblem it looks like an early fire emblem game but they're barbarian looking guys just like Simon okay they love neutral specials so let's try taking them out with yeah I was gonna they gave me that, I'm just, you know, shuffling stuff. This seems good. And they gave me the fast final smash meter buildup, but it almost seems like the fights are too fast for you to even get a final smash half the time. Ready? Let's see. Ooh, this is scary. Let's send my Nikita over and just send him off. I love Snake's dash attack, too, because he does his, his little tactical dive, and then he'll be prone on the ground so he can get a cool little... Ooh. Yeah, they love their axes, these these boys. Let's see if we can get them out of here. <laughs> get them away far enough to hit them with the Nikita. Throw some grenades. I know that typically snake players are just, like, dropping grenades everywhere. Just making everyone have a tough time getting close to them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think I'm better off just, like, staying away and trying to hit through their axes with the Nikita. Or set up something like that and then... <laughs> Their C his C4 is scary because you can do stuff like that where you set it up and then wait for someone to get close to it and then there <laughs> detonate it and kill both of them. So I I noticed when uh, when Duck Hunt was added in Smash 4, a lot of Snake players, or at least some of them, like you know competitive players, tried out Duck Hunt because they were like, oh, they're tr he's tricky with explosives and traps. And Snake, is, you know, obviously, is that style of character. So I almost feel like I would take to Snake, but I don't know. I don't. I'm not a big fan of his recovery. <gasps> Something I am a big fan of. Heracross. This is tied with Rowlet, I think, for my favorite Pokemon. Sticky floor. I guess there's honey everywhere. And uh, yeah, they have increased throw power. Let's see here. What do we want? Sticky floor immunity. It's gonna take up the whole thing, but let's go for it. We've seen sticky floors before in the sewer with Wario. He tried to get us into his weird lair. I don't know. That was back in an early episode, if you want to see that. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Yeah, the... it seems like the sticky floor... I don't... It doesn't seem to be messing with me too much, but it made me seem like I was running slower on it. The crazy thing with the C4 as well is that it has such a, cr a good amount of range. You can drop it on a platform and then still hit people like underneath the platform with it. Hey! I'm not immune to Bowser grabs, I know that. Snake is a heavy boy though, he can do some crazy stuff where like his, yeah, his up tilt still kills. He has this giant thigh that <laughs> he'll, he'll kick you with it. All right, fire weakness. That, that keeps happening with some of the Pokemon. I'm like, oh, I wonder what my, both of my favorite Pokemon, their ability in this is fire weakness, which I'm like, why do you, you want that? That's a trade-off, I guess, but what are they giving you other than just being cute? What are, what is going on here? We just went to Candyland. We went through a weird flower mouth. Let's take on Fee or Fi, however you want to say it. Fee Fi Fo Fi. <laughs> what is the, yeah, I should check what the battle is before we get into this. The melee weapons have increased power and the final smash meter charges quickly. You know, if we don't want to deal with Link and his crazy 
ancient arrows, maybe we should jam it with Jeff here. Jamming it with Jeff. His, that's his radio show that he used to <laughs> put on in winters. Alright. And then what else do we need? I think it just said... Uh, yeah, he's got good weapon skills. Didn't we have something that resists weapons? We only have one slot here for something. Let's throw a bomb at him, because I know Link loves to do that to everyone else, so... Give him a dose of his own medicine. I like the... I know people are mixed on the Tunic of the Wild this designed for him. I don't know if people are a big fan of Link having some kind of jorts, but I think it's a cool look. I like that he has a classic look to him still that you can use. Ooh, I'm going to take your bomb. That's also another character I was just talking about, Duck Hunt, having sort of a, uh, you know, the duck, the bomb play style with the trick shot. You can use that to, to get some good setups, and Link has the same thing in this where his new bombs are really good, and they will... I gotta learn how to cancel out of that Nikita. I think you just hit shield and it'll drop, like so. But yeah, his bombs, he can remote detonate them. Not if you're holding him, though, so you gotta be careful about that. Get out of here. I got a banana, and I know how to use it. I'm a secret agent. There we go. So yeah, the uh, <laughs> snake's down throw puts them into a sleep, but at higher percentages, it it definitely is good to just up tilt because it'll usually kill afterwards and most people can't get out of the way in time that boosts your neutral special it looks like I think that's what it said you think it would boost like Link's sword beams or something when he's at zero but that would be way too specific for a spirit ah that's a good song I love when we unlock songs along the way how about let's see who is over here before we move on too much we gotta fight this Wally Wago. Of course, DDD is a good, good one to stand in for that. He's got that big belly. DDD's belly doesn't have the, the armor of K. Rule, but it's good nonetheless. I think DDD's really underrated in this game, but time will tell. Can hit him with a bomb though, just like anyone else. Oh, he's gonna jump just like the. Oh, I'm getting some flashbacks to Pikmin dying horribly to these jumps. I gotta be careful. Cause they're just gonna. They're just gonna jump, jump, jump all over the place, and they have super armor on that. So that is gonna catch me and kill me if I'm not careful. Try to get some Nikitas going here just to see if I can stay away from them and blast them away. Or at least hit them into that mine that I threw. Come here. Come here, guys, or don't. You know, I don't really want them to be too close. Snake has a new down smash, he does like a kick around him which is still pretty good, but I think they were just like, Snake has too many explosives. He doesn't need to be able to plant that mine. <laughs> strong wind resist. All right. I think we did play one that had a strong wind, but we were able to beat it without any uh, any spirits helping us out. Who is this? Oh, we got to beat Kid first from Mario Golf. I think that he's probably from the Game Boy one, the Camelot developed ones. I, I know people really loved that Mario Golf RPG on, on the Game Boy. Alright, dangerous high winds. Oh, perfect! We just got a high wind thing that will help us. So maybe we should... Oh, strong wind resist. Oh, we have two of them! I forgot we had the condor. I want one of those. I don't need both of them. So, this seems like a pretty even matchup. They're trying to give us a good good setup against them so we don't do too well. You know, we, we, we want a challenge and we want to get better rewards. So always using a really strong spirit isn't the best thing. All right, kid, you're going down. I wonder why they picked the brown Mario costume here and not, well, the the other one, the Mara Mario is from the golf game, but, but the strong wind is still affecting us because we're resisting it. We are not immune to it. If we can get a good forward smash going. Yeah, this is a little tougher than I was expecting, and we are getting pushed away. Ah, I didn't see four fast enough. I thought I thought about it. I was like, oh, we're actually getting pushed back enough where I probably won't recover with the Cypher. And I tried to throw out the C4 because you can blow yourself up to help recover. That's my big issue that I mentioned with Snake, where I don't know if it's worth it to me to have a recovery like that that is kind of not necessarily inconsistent if you know how to... You know how to win with it you can still do okay but it just seems like maybe not worth the trouble and there's beast balls going everywhere I guess because it's a sports thing 
Slide in. And just kick him. Man. <laughs> Imagine a snake kicking Mario in the throat seems so brutal. Ah, I wonder if we could stack this. Stamina up plus the bonus fruit we have from Pac-Man. I wonder together that'll make stamina battles easier, maybe. Pretty sure, I think it put it as like 145 or something, so we'll have to see. Jigglypuff! Ah, oh, I was not expecting them to be out in the woods. <laughs> Jigglypuff just hanging out. The Deku Link has a fire weakness as well. We don't need strong wind resist. Watch us throw a bomb. Yeah, if I used a really powerful spirit, I bet we could throw a bomb and kill Jigglypuff like instantly. But we'll see. This seems like a rough matchup for Jigglypuff because even though she can weave in and out, if I just break her shield, she is like, you know, she's dead automatically from a shield break. But I was going to say, it seems like Snake can set up so many different things that it could be tough for her to even get close at all, because like, I can just pelt all these grenades out, and then when she gets close here, oop, she fell there before I could do it, but just seems like a, uh, a rough matchup to get in as the puff here. She's definitely better in this game, it seems like, but not quite good enough to uh, survive that horrible C4 blast. Jeez. Haven't been using the cardboard box, even though we got the spirit for that, but Snake's taunt can actually hit people, which is kind of fun. Use that to edge guard people like Krom, and they'll just fall out of their recovery. <laughs> All right, so that looped around and opened that way. There is the area we were at, the Animal Crossing area. I really want to know how to open these gates, but I am curious also what's up this way. Let's head into this weird, wacky land of taffy tongues and silly... Perry! I forgot about Perry from Super Princess Peach. That is her little parasol. The enemies up special is favorite. Okay, because yeah, she has a parasol for her up B. And then she will fall slowly. Alright. Snake has been working out rather well so far. I know we're going against some of the less powerful spirits in this area, but it seems like he's worked okay. <laughs> Give Peach a taste of her own medicine with the bomb there, because she can pluck those with her turnips if she's lucky. I'll try to get her back towards that if I can. She's trying to toad me. I'm going to spike her. Just try to... Yeah, timing his aerials, I'm not so used to them, but they seem pretty good, obviously. If you can get them timed right for her. Ah, uh, I was hoping I could time that right to get her, but take her out in the Mario way with a Koopa shell. And we just... Oh, I missed what that does. We'll see in a sec, though. Man, I want to get Ridley, but I think it's going to be a while, because uh, he's one of the later ones to unlock in just the order of, of unlocking characters normally. But he also... Yeah, he seems like he wouldn't be, like, an early area character in this. Landing lag down. Neutral attack up. Where do we want to go? Super easy dodging seems... Pretty nice. Let's just go up here. Grab some breaking abilities. Shooting items up. Sure. Give me everything. Attack up when healthy. That would have helped in the last one, because I think we were... Or at Jigglypuff battle, we were at zero. It's Yoshi! I should have known things are too silly up here to be a normal character. <laughs> no. Alright. Charging Chuck. Do we have a Metal Gear Spirit I could equip? We got so many different spirits here. I haven't really been using some of the ones we've gotten. Yeah, let's get a uh, let's get Revolver Ocelot or someone in here because that actually would boost the power of them, since Snake is from Metal Gear. And then hey, let's uh let's let's level him up. I like Revolver Ocelot, and I want to see what happens to him at 99. He's gonna evolve probably into Liquid Ocelot or you know one of his later appearances. It'll just be older Revolver Ocelot. I, I think I'm guessing it'll be Liquid Ocelot, because I've seen some... Some of the spirits have been Metal Gear Solid 4 designs. I think they're drawing a lot from the artwork for that. And... Enhanceable. Let's do it. Yeah. They're gonna... They're gonna change, but... Oh no, there is from uh, MGS5. There's Revolver Ocelot from that, yeah, shooting attack up. Can he enhance any more? 
He's cool looking. He's a little older, more experienced, and seems better. But we would have to level him again if we want him to actually have any good... I think he's fine for this, though. He seems fairly evenly matched. All right, we'll go in with our bomb. Just give a give a nice how do you do to Yoshi. Snakes tends to sneak in and just blow up people before they even know he's there, so... Yoshi, don't you go running now. <laughs> I was uh, hoping he'd be kind of over the edge when I did that, so I wanted to... <laughs> Want to get him with that spike. Yoshi's recovery is, uh, he's got the armor on it, so it, it kind of helps, but it's, he's a little exploitable because his up B does not have the same amount of, uh, utility to get him back as some of the other characters. Oop, we do not want to be anywhere near that. What? Oh, <laughs> well, the same issue happens with, uh, with Snake as does Duck Hunt. They are really kindred spirits if you accidentally hit like I hit sideways trying to move towards the stage but I was still holding B so I did a Nikita the side special unfortunately which uh killed me so I gotta be really careful see you can do this out of it and then you just fall it's just like duck hunt so that's a that's a good thing to know if I played both of these characters I'd probably get really used to that and then be able to actually use that to my you know not to my advantage <laughs> but to be used to it enough where I'd be okay. I love that, I, yeah, you can just heal by, oh, no, I rolled into that. You can just heal by getting perfect shield parrying, which is very handy. All right, Yoshi, you wanna eat something? Eat these. I think he'll run into that. <laughs> I know my computer <laughs> and how they, they act sometimes, where they'll just do stuff like that. Ooh, he wants a Mr. Saturn. I killed the Mr. Saturn rather than let Yoshi take him. Let's see if we can... Yeah. I think he's about at the percentage where I could try to get him into a grab. He's gonna just take that with him. If I can get a grab... Oh! I thought I had that. He's making it tough. I hate when the computers get items like that and then we can up tilt him again. See there? Very good setup. <laughs> Computer even when they're at a lower percent than they would need to be to have that work, they seem to not roll out of the way when you down throw them. Okay, Snake has been doing pretty well, but maybe it's about time to switch to someone else. Maybe Yoshi would be good for a little bit. Oh, <gasps> Galeem is uh, ready to send another boss our way, another dungeon too, I would expect. So where's that going? Ooh, in the middle of a creepy city there. Where is it? That's way up there. All right, well, I guess we should head that way. I do want to see what the other way is with that one switch, though, so maybe before we go too far in one direction, I will uh, go back and try that really quick. Oh, beware. That bridge seems like it leads to another character as well. I'd like to get onto that. But right now, yeah, we'd have to go around. Hmm. They're barring us from getting into certain areas. Would this lead onto the bridge? This looks like... No, that goes around that way. Hmm. I'm curious the best way to go, because we do need to go to that dungeon. As was, you know, apparent, when we beat the last dungeon, it weakened Galeem's shield, which makes me think we're going to need to beat all of those to try to do that. I'm kind of curious about... Yeah, some of these I've left behind. I'm like, I should probably have done some. So let's... Uh, maybe we'll finish up with Sakura here go a little bit farther. I want to hit that last switch before too long. Alright, the heal over time. Let's not let him. We'll, we'll have Isabel pocket a grenade and then blow herself up or something. And it looks like oh, Corrin's coming in to help, so it's it's Sakura from Ooh! Accidentally, I tried to pull out a grenade and I forgot I had my bomb with me. Because that, that did not work out so hot. Isabel's trying traps of her own. Oop, I blew myself up a little. <laughs> I was trying to get above them and lure them into my C4, but they uh, didn't want to, to fall for it. Well, they did fall for it. I just accidentally blew myself up in the process. Oh, jeez. Okay, that wasn't mine. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can grab that, but they had already set it up. I'm going to roll through this. She'll hopefully be okay. I noticed one of the hardest things in this mode is just fighting against other spirits together like if you have two attacking you at once obviously you're being ganged up on so it's a little tough to to beat both of them Whoop. she's trying to do that 
I'm gonna put her down. Ooh, I got my final smash. Let's do it. So this is, uh, I think it's kind of a variation of his old final smash. You just lock on and send all these missiles in. Jeez. <laughs> Corrin was dead, but still being targeted. <gasps> Poison immunity. Ooh. Yeah, I really could have used this like episodes ago when we were fighting the boss. Maybe this is the way to do it, honestly. Snake has to take down the boss. The one who trained Big Boss. And I think she's over here somewhere, right? Oh. I didn't even see that. That leads up kind of around. The boss is in a, a dead end here over this bridge. So that would be the bottom bridge. That would be a good way to uh, to round out this episode, I think, taking out a spirit that gave us so much trouble before. Can I do it? With poison immunity, this does not seem that hard because she's legendary, but she also is, you know, it's a lot of that is just because she has that poison helping her out. So let's see, attack would be good. Let's see if Sakura is gonna be costing a lot. Where is she? We just got her. Yeah, she's gonna take up both slots, but I think this might not be too bad. They're like 4,000 stronger in spirit power, but I'm gonna try this. Without poison sapping our health, this should be a little easier, I would think. Oh, I'm gonna try to set some C4 and get her. Oh, she she broke out of that quick. That crab. Oh! <laughs> she almost went right into there. So I gotta be careful, but it seems like this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, her defense is higher, though. Let's try to keep these grenades going. Keep myself immune to uh, a lot of her stuff. Ah. Yeah, I need to get the timing... Or just, you know, know when it's good to detonate my C4. She has so much more HP than I have, though. It's because her spirit is stronger, but I'm just surprised how much more she has. I might need to stay back and pelt her with stuff. I'm doing, like, nothing with a lot of my things, unfortunately. So this might end up being, like, try to take her off the side and edge guard her really well. I don't know, honestly. It seems like she's going to be tough. Because how much have I done this whole time? Not very much at all. What's on the ground? Is that gonna be... Ooh, a banana peel! <laughs> There's explosives. I want to stay away from that. Hopefully she'll fall into it. If I'm lucky. She's so fast, though. Yeah, she's gonna try to take me off the side. What if I hit her with the box? <laughs> I kind of figured we might not be able to win this battle too well. Ooh. I shouldn't have been goofing around, because we're kind of not that far off from winning this. Gosh, she's just going to go crazy with the ray gun now. These computers and their ray gun items. They love them. Let's see if I can get her off the edge. Yeah, this is this is such an intense battle. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, that's also timed. Wait. Ah, uh, if you're off the stage when you use your final smash, you just die, I guess. <laughs> I really... Oh, she used hers. I thought I hit mine, but she hit hers and just canceled out mine. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can just kind of keep her away with grenades and stuff. Yeah, she's going to be... She's going to be tough, but I think if I play my cards right, I can try to take her out by... I almost think my best bet is to try to get her off the side. She has so little end lag on a lot of her moves that it is very tough to actually get her off the side anywhere. Yeah, let's try to edge guard her. Yeah, there we go. Oh, her That's what happened. Her defense was increased after she uh, got that buff. Yeah. It seems like it's going to be really tough to actually beat her if I'm not careful. Or I could just <laughs> cheese her. This is barely doing anything, unfortunately. Uh, it's going to run out. Yep. Ah. I can't believe the boss would do this to her pupil, sort of. Oop. Come on. Ah, I tried to two-frame and get her with that spike. She's just making things really tough here. Alright. Nope. 
Oh, I went right into her grab. <laughs> Get out of here. Whoa, he rolled right off the stage there. His recovery is definitely weird to... Uh... Ooh, she's going to block it with her back shield. But yeah, his recovery is weird enough where I have a little... I have some problems trying to do it. Hey, hey, hey. she really do that? Ooh, she got hers. And now she can do the same to me. Yep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let's see if we can change things around. I feel like I got to beat her with Snake, and I've been doing okay with him. But maybe a different spirit. Who is our strongest? It seems like she, Min Min, is. Do we have anyone with a higher potential attack spirits here? Hmm. I was going to say, we've got some that seem pretty good, but Min Min's like one of our best other than maybe like Rayman is three stars. Of main spirits, we don't really have that many with a ton of potential. A lot of them aren't all that strong. I could do Ocelot, and then shooting would be better, and I'd have the synergy, but he's so... Yeah, let, let's... Uh... Ooh, no, that's not what, the, what I wanted to do. I want to try to level him up real quick and just see how he stacks, because... Right now, this might be something we have to come back to, honestly, because once later in the game, our spirits will be stronger, so it makes sense that it would be easier. I want to use up all my large snacks on Ocelot here. He's a hungry guy, though. Uh, here we go. All right. Honestly, that's actually fairly comparable to what we had. Oh, no, we're better. Okay, because of the synergy, you see the exclamation mark, meaning, hey, Metal Gear with a Metal Gear spirit, you know, Snake using Ocelot is definitely going to be in his favor. Ooh, what if I just run into her stuff? Man, I almost want to restart this, but there's no quick restart. That seems like a something that was maybe overlooked. Ooh, that'll get her. <laughs> if they try to grab your grenade as, you know, if they're, you're fighting against a snake and you try to grab their grenade, you definitely want to use it and don't hold on to it, because otherwise you're just gonna... Yeah, you really want to beat her a little bit down before that happens, the defense up, because now I'm gonna be doing, like, no damage. Forgot about that. If it wasn't the computer, it seems like they would be able to, uh... This would be a good, good setup to disguise your C4. Yeah, she's so fast. She has a frame one jab, so she can just kind of jab out of anything. And she's going to be really tough to kill here. Yeah. <laughs> right in his back. Man, Snake has been through a lot. It seems like he's got a, he would have a bad back. Okay. I'm not going to run right in this time because Snake, he does play kind of like a zoner in some ways where he can throw a bunch of explosives and keep your opponent at bay. Hopefully. We do need to, yeah, we need to be doing damage to her, though, quickly before gets too much of that defense. Ah! She's gonna get it really soon here, though. She's just comboing me in the meantime. Hey! She's so fast and slippery that it is frustrating that I'm not gonna be able to do much to her before she gets her defense up. Jeez. I think a lot of it is the difference in spirit power in some ways, because she's... Plus, the computer is just so good. Look at that. <laughs> she's just <laughs> parrying stuff. And... <sighs> Might have to go... As much as I wanted to beat this with Snake, I'm like, maybe a character that I'm better with and can get back well enough would be better. Hey, I didn't mean to set that off immediately. Come on. Gotta get used to where to dash with him to get those grabs. Try to get her towards the edge. Come here. Ah, she didn't fall for it. She is tough. That's for sure, because I'm not knocking her back all that much from a lot of my hits, so it's like she can just really follow up fast. <laughs> Choke her out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna do this, but putting up a good fight while I can. Yep. Alright. I'd love for Snake to beat the boss, but I want to see... We'll try one more, and then I'm going to see 
if I can do this with a character that I am better with. I, uh, yeah, I really wish Duck Hunt had more than one spirit that boosted him, because honestly, I think if you are trying to do this, you might, at this point in the game, you need a character that can be boosted with something, you know, by having a synergy. Ooh! Ah, yeah, I did it! <laughs> the thing I've been, never mind, ignore all that. I was gonna say, the thing I was going for that whole time was Snake Spike on his forward air. That foot just knocked her down. She just could not get back up. All right, our first, I think one of our first legendary primary spirits, if I'm correct, right? Her throw power is up. So she's probably pretty good for uh, for Snake to use because if you want to do a lot of grabs with him, that's pretty good. But yeah, she might be our first legendary primary if I'm thinking about it because some of the other legendaries like Verity and Jeff are support spirits. Awesome, and she'll also power up our buddy Snake. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's level her up before we're done here, because she seems like she might be our best bet to have as a uh, a good grab spirit. She deserves all these snacks. She's a true patriot. If you've seen Metal Gear Solid, you know, the plot of Metal Gear Solid 3, she did a lot for our country, you know, our world and for this country. So salute her with a face full of snacks. Just weird throwing these at, especially some of these humanoid characters. I could see Yoshi or Poochie or somebody eating these like this, but just being like, <laughs> treating them like a yeah, <laughs> weird animal is kind of strange. All right, so we leveled her up pretty significantly. Rex seems like he'd be pretty good too, but all right. And then uh, she's gonna synergize with Snake to be pretty powerful. I already lost her. Oh, it's because we these are the only yeah trying to feed them. So let's uh, let's let's just see. I want to see her uh, what she would boost to with Snake. I'm also curious if we can make any of these other char characters here. I was just looking at summoning again. Hmm, Shinobu's used for quite a few. We got Ninjara, and I think that's Ibuki from Street Fighter. There. Ah, oh, DJ KK. We need a Labrador <laughs> to splice in there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like we have the uh, the spirits for some of these. We almost have enough to make Paper Mario using a cardboard box and Cut Man to cut it out. That's great. Some of these are so clever. Hmm. It really looks like the only one we can make at this point is... Uh, oh, we, yeah, we already have Ashley, I was going to say. The only one we could really make at this point is... Uh, cranky, but then we'd have to get rid of Wrinkly Kong, and I like her her ability. I don't know how good Cranky is. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna pop the boss onto Snake here. Sorry, Ocelot, you did help us out quite a bit, but I want to see how the boss is on. Yeah, look at that, twelve thousand. Now we are about at where we should have been fighting her. Thank you guys again for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. We are uh, we're getting a lot of progress here in World of Light. Let's just grab this. Our attack is up when we're healthy. And uh, yeah, I think next time I want to head up and go after that switch, the yellow switch kind of towards the center of the map I've been talking about. we got to go through the city to do that, it seems, and then we'll finally unlock that snowy area to the upper left. See where that whirlpool portal thing takes us? I hope you'll join me for all that nonsense. <laughs> Thanks again, and uh, I'll see you next time for more World of Light. Goodbye.